শুভ সন্ধ্যা এবং গুড গুড ইভনিং এভরিবডি অন বিহাফ অফ দা অল ইন্ডিয়া পিস অ্যান্ড সলিডারিটি অর্গানাইজেশন ওয়েস্ট বেঙ্গল স্টেট কমিটি আই ওয়েলকাম হিজ এক্সেলেন্সি মিস্টার আদনান আবু আল হাইজা অনারেবল অ্যাম্বাসেডার স্যার অব দ্য স্টেট অফ প্যালেস্তাইন ইন ইন্ডিয়া শ্রী নীলোৎপল বাসু অনারেবল ফর্মার মেম্বার অফ দ্য রাজ্যসভা অ্যান্ড প্রেসিডিয়াম মেম্বার অফ দ্য আইপিএসও অল ইন্ডিয়া কমিটি we are grateful to honorable ambassador sir for joining today's online seminar and you know the topic today is achieving a just solution of the question of palestine role of the solidarity movement sir it's a privilege to listen to you on this occasion and we are sure your deliberation will benefit us and will help us understand the current situation in palestine and in particular the responsibility of the solidarity movement what do we expect from us we thank sri nilotpal basu for his participation in this program sri basu all of you know has vast knowledge on the subject and has spoken and written widely on palestine question it's a great opportunity to listen to him this time we also welcome all the participants who have already joined us this virtual program we sincerely thank all of you all of you and you know your presence makes such a session meaningful and fruitful and all of you know all india peace and solidarity organization or west bengal state committee have been observing the international palestine solidarity day on the 20th november every year for more than a decade this is part of our regular program in solidarity with the just causes of the palestinian people today solidarity is being observed not only in west bengal but also in many states of india by the ipso and also the world peace and solidarity movement across the world in all the continents the ipso you know is a people's movement not just a forum and the people of west bengal are proud of our rich legacy of our anti imperialist struggle the people of west bengal are always in support of the people of palestine <clears throat> in their fight on this you know in on this occasion on the 29 november on the international solidarity day once again we demand the ipso west bengal state committee the end to the illegal israeli occupation of palestine and establishing an independent palestine state within the borders of 4th june 1967 with east jerusalem as its capital india should extend genuine support to the palestinian causes as resolved by the united nations military and security ties with the israel should be discontinued until it stops violation of united nations resolution on palestine we are in all in favor of the realization of peaceful coexistence tense of palestine and israel in according to the two state solution as prescribed by the united nations we support also the demand for the dismantling of the apartheid wall and all illegal settlements in israeli occupied palestinian territory but you understand for reasonable you know that's quite understandable understandable we feel it's a battle on many fronts we are sure the palestine people will win this battle at the end and ipso will continue to fight for the palestinian causes and continue to work for building a strong public opinion in favor of just solution of palestine question and to sensitize the policy makers on this issue and friends with these few words i conclude my introductory comments once again i thank all of you especially our distinguished speakers honorable ambassador sir and mr nilotpal basu you know for technical reasons we have to change i mean some part of our program but okay this time i am requesting honorable ambassador sir to uh, deliver his speech thank you very much mr thank you very much dear dear comrade distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen Namaste, good evening, assalamu alaikum. Allow me to thank you all and thank the General Secretary of EPSO West Bengal and all members and leaders of EPSO who work hard yearly to present 
their solidarity with the Palestinian people. The Israeli occupation of the Palestinian territory since 1967, including East Jerusalem, is illegal in all aspects and must end. This occupation is a propped up and through systemic breaches of international law, many amounting to war crimes. And long ago past, the threshold or legality, whether the settlement colonization, annexation of our land, the repression, collective punishment, and apartheid against our people. Those who believe Israel has actually suspended or seized its annexation plan are willfully or mistakenly ignoring what is happening. Every single day, the occup in occupied Palestine, including East Jerusalem, settlements are being rapidly expanded as Israel move ahead with a plan to construct thousands more settlements units in just the period since its so-called suspension announcement, especially in Jerusalem and Bethlehem areas, proving over and over that it rejects the two-state solution and has no intention to end its occupation. The occupying power also persists with its wall construction, confiscation of Palestinian land, exploitation of natural resources, dangerous excavation under the holy site and the violation of historic, uh, historic status quo at Al-Haram Sharif. Hundreds more homes and civilian structures, including schools and clinics, have been demolished. Palestinian families are being evicted and dispossessed, rendered homeless even in this time of pandemic as our civilians are forcibly transferred in the ongoing ethnic cleansing, extremist settlers and militias abetted by the Israeli military and openly funded and incited by the Israeli government also continue their reign of violence and terror attempting to drive our people from their land. The scope and scale of the occupations a human rights violation are too vast to en 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 enumerate here, but are corro corroborated by the many reports of UN agencies and international organizations. Palestinian children, women, and men tragically continue to be killed and injured in daily military raids on Palestinian cities, towns, villages, and refugee camps. Palestinians, especially young males, continue to be arrested, administratively detained, imprisoned, medically neglected, and tortured. With nearly 5,000 now captive in Israeli jails, including at least 155 children, the bodies of Palestinians killed by the occupying forces continue to withheld, obstructing their proper burial and deepening the trauma endured by their families. Moreover, Israel continues to collectively punish the Palestinian people and impose a racist apartheid regime controlling and blighting every aspect of their lives. The occupying forces routinely threaten, humiliate, and abuse Palestinian civilians particularly at the hundreds of military checkpoints restricting freedom of movement and fragmenting our land into well and isolated Bantu stands. Most shocking remains the illegal 14 years blockade to Gaza by occupying forces, which Israel has turned the Gaza Strip into an open air prison and methodically inflicted a humanitarian crisis in the entire civilian population in what constitute a massive violation of a human rights tantamount to a crime against humanity. This cruel and deliberate deprivation of two million people 
is nearing the brink of disaster, averted only by international humanitarian support, for most via UNRWA, which itself faces a financial crisis threatening continuity of its vital assistance to 5.6 million Palestinian refugees across the region. We appeal for attention to this crisis, demanding an end to the Israeli blockade and calling for support to UNRWA to ensure the well-being of the refugee pending just a solution to their plight. The handset acquired in the past 54 years makes it clear that the occupation has merely served as pseudo-legal facade for unlawful colonization. The failure to uphold the law and the human rights standards when it comes to the Israeli occupation and failure to enact consequences for viol uh, violations has only emboldened more violations. States must act on their responsibilities and commitments and end the double standard of rewarding rather than punishing Israel for its illegal behavior. Its singling out for exception treatment must end here and now. There is no alternative if we are to change the dismal situation that prevails. Accountability is the key to deter further crimes, spare the suffering of more innocents, and create a credible horizon that can take us from talking and the dreaming of a just peace to making it reality. Accountability is a legal obligation and is what can ultimately compel compliance in the face of decades intrasinges and help us open a new chapter that bring both the Palestinian and Israeli people's peace, stability, security. We urge all states to uphold international law in regards to the Palestinian question in word and deed, including through support of United Nations resolutions and tangible effort to implement them at the national and international levels. We urge support for an international peace conference in 2022 based on the international consensus enshrined in enshrined a UN resolution as the most effective means to resolve this conflict and establish a just and lasting peace. We call for activation of Security Council in line with, it, with its charter duties, the Quartet in line with its mandate, and all concerned regional and international partners for this purpose. We urge continued support for the unalliable and alliable rights of the Palestinian people, including to self-determination and independence, and call for recognition of the state of Palestine to the pre-1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital by states who have not done so. At the end, uh, I thank again all of you our comrades in Apes West Bengal, I would also thank the government of India and the Indian people for their support to the Palestinian cause and the Palestinian people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Honorable Ambassador, sir, for your excellent explanation of the current situation. And now I request Mr. Nilutpal Basu to uh, start his deliberation. Please. Mr. Thank Basu. you, Comrade Anjan. Hmm. Uh, at the very outset, I must thank uh, AI, uh, PSO West Bengal for giving this opportunity to express uh, my uh, uh, solidarity with the just cause of Palestine on this 
International Day of Solidarity. Um, uh, I think uh, uh, we heard an excellent presentation from His Excellency, and uh, I think he has covered much ground on what is actually happening uh, uh, in, in uh, Palestine, uh, both West Bank and Gaza. Uh, I had the opportunity uh, to be in Palestine and also Israel uh, as part of a World Peace Council delegation. So most of the thing, things that uh, uh, Honorable uh, Ambassador has explained is something which we uh, I have witnessed with my own eyes. Uh, I think uh, His Excellency will have to also excuse me because the audience uh, for this uh, webinar uh, is largely Bengali. So I will be switching over to uh, Bengali from time to time, which uh, he may uh, find uh, not only difficult and impossible no, no, to follow. Go on. But uh, excuse me for that. No, not at uh, all. Go on. Uh, actually, uh, আমাদের যে সংহতি আন্দোলন এবং আমাদের সারা ভারত শান্তি এবং সংহতি সংগঠনের যে কাজ সেই কাজের একটা মূল নৈতিক ভিত্তি হচ্ছে আমরা প্যালেস্টাইনের মানুষের যে ন্যায়সঙ্গত ইচ্ছা তাদের সার্বভৌমত্বের জন্য তাদের স্বাধীনতার জন্য এবং একটা বৈষম্যহীন পরিস্থিতিতে তাদের নিজেদের বিকাশের জন্য এটা তো একটা বড় গুরুত্বপূর্ণ বিষয় কিন্তু প্যালেস্টাইনের প্রশ্নে আমাদের দেশের স্বাধীনতা আন্দোলনের সময় থেকে আমরা যে ভূমিকা পালন করছি আমি খালি আইপসোর কথা বলছি না আমাদের ভারতের জাতীয় আন্দোলন স্বাধীনতার আন্দোলন স্বাধীনতার আগেও তারা যে ভূমিকা পালন করেছে তার একটা মূল কথা ছিল যে প্যালেস্টাইনের মুক্তি সংগ্রামকে সমর্থন করা আমাদের নিজস্ব যে লড়াই ব্রিটিশ সাম্রাজ্যবাদের বিরুদ্ধে বিভিন্ন দেশে দেশে ঔপনিবেশিকতাবাদের বিরুদ্ধে সেই সংগ্রামের অংশ ছিল উইদাউট উইদাউট বিং পার্ট অফ আওয়ার ওন অ্যান্টি কলোনিয়াল মুভমেন্ট উইদাউট বিং পার্ট অফ দ্য অ্যান্টি ইম্পেরিয়ালিস্ট মুভমেন্ট দ্য ইন্ডিয়ান ন্যাশনাল মুভমেন্ট কুড নট ফোর্স এ হেড সো ইট ইজ ইন আর্লি ফর্টিস ইন দ্য লাস্ট সেঞ্চুরি ওয়েন দিস কোয়েশ্চেন ওয়াজ পোস্ট ওয়েন ওয়েন ইসরায়েল ওয়াজ বিং ইম পোস্ট বাই দ্য সো কল্ড ইন্টারন্যাশনাল কমিউনিটি Uh, on the free Palestinian people, it was uh, no less than Mahatma Gandhi who said that uh, 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 we all appreciate the uh, Holocaust and the, and the uh, deadly discrimination that has been faced by Jews, uh, by the uh, Nazis and, and other fascist forces. But at the same time, there is no way that one can support this imposition and uh, and uh, restricting the freedom of uh, palestine by uh, western powers without any uh, consultation uh, let alone the participation of the palestinian people in uh, evolving a solution ebong amra jodi dekhi etai utsho palestine er je samoshar samukhin hocchen palestine er manush tar mul kotha hocche যে প্যালেস্টাইনে যে মানুষ ছিলেন যে যে জনসংখ্যা ছিল তাদের ওপরে তাদের সঙ্গে আলোচনা না করে একতরফা পশ্চিমী দেশগুলো এবং বিশেষ করে তখনকার দিনে ব্রিটিশ সরকার এবং পরবর্তীকালে মার্কিনি সরকারও সেটাকে সমর্থন করেছে obnoxious part of this is that today in britain they are uh, trying to go for a law whereby any criticism of zionism of the jewish state will be considered as anti-semitic and there will be actions against the progressive forces in uh, some of these western countries it কারণ হচ্ছে যে যে বিডিএস মুভমেন্ট 
এবং এবং যে বয়কটের কর্মসূচি গোটা পৃথিবী জুড়ে শান্তি আন্দোলন সংহতি আন্দোলন এবং প্যালেস্টাইনের প্রতি যারা সহকর্মী সেই শক্তি নিচ্ছে সেটা এত অর্থ বহ হয়েছে এত বেশি কার্যকরী হয়েছে এই ইসরায়েলের যে সেটেলমেন্ট ইকোনমি যেটাকে বলো যে উপনিবেশ গড়ে তোলা দিস the settlement economy of israel has been very badly hit by the bds movement which has been taken up by the international solidarity movement so that is why they want to delegitimize that uh, 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 bds movement and uh, therefore they are saying whosoever is talking about boycotting uh, products from uh, settlements uh, in palestine Uh, they are actually uh, anti-Semites and therefore they are trying to take away the moral legitimacy of the solidarity movement uh, globally. Now, one of the most important questions that we have to ask is Israel is the most important question that we have to ask and we have to ask that we have to ask Israel একটা জুইশ রাষ্ট্র হিসেবে ঘোষণা করল এটা শুধু প্যালেস্টাইন বলে নয় আমরা সারা পৃথিবীতেই দেখছি যে যারা মৌলবাদী শক্তি তারা ধর্মীয় পরিচিতি সত্তার ভিত্তিতে তারা রাষ্ট্র গঠনের চেষ্টা করছে এবং এটা একটা উৎস আমরা জানি যে বর্ণ বিদ্বেষবাদী জাতি বিদ্বেষবাদী যে মনোভাব এবং যে মতাদর্শ সেই মতাদর্শের সঙ্গে সাযুজ্য রেখে তারা এই কাজ করছে আমরা এখানেও ভারতেও একই ধরনের প্রবণতার সম্মুখীন হচ্ছি এটা একটা নতুন প্রশ্ন যেটা এসেছে এবং এখানে লক্ষণীয় বিষয় হচ্ছে যে নেতা নায়াহু সরকারের প্রধান হিসেবে থাকতে না পারলেও নতুন যে এসেছে মানে একই কথা তারাও বলছে দ্বিতীয় প্রশ্ন হচ্ছে যে রাষ্ট্রসংঘের নিরাপত্তা পরিষদের যে প্রস্তাব ছিল ইউএন সিকিউরিটি কাউন্সিল রেজলিউশন হুইচ হ্যাজ বিন হ্যাজ বিন সো ইলকুয়েন্টলি এক্সপ্লেইন বাই হিজ এক্সেলেন্সি now in order to uh, torpedo and sabotage that solution the scale of uh, uh, occupation the, the uh, creation of the settlements uh, i have seen with my own eyes i mean it's absurd the way uh, it is growing and and uh, uh, some of the liberals also in europe and united states now and and actually surveys are revealing that they cannot actually digest the the, uh, the the brazenness of the of the expansion uh, of the occupation and and creation of settlements and uh, uh, it's so sad to see that palestinian people uh, if they have to move from one area to other they have to pass through several checkpoints i mean which is a uh, traumatic experience for us uh, first of all uh, uh, our our audience must understand that you uh, palestine does not have an uh, uh, airport of their own i mean if you want to go to uh, any part of palestine uh, you have to travel through checkpoints and uh, you have to land in tel aviv and i i i recall my traumatic experience uh, how what kind of difficulty one had to face uh, for for reaching ramallah uh, from from uh, after after landing Uh, in Tel Aviv and, and uh, so many check posts one has to go through um, and, and so on and so forth. Therefore, uh, this whole uh, existence of Palestine is today largely notional, I mean, which has been uh, completely uh, undermined and, and uh, made irrelevant uh, by the manner in which uh, Israel is functioning. and i think it is not only the question of israel uh, what is uh, at stake is the credibility of the international system i mean i think no other question onno kono prashno 
প্যালেস্টাইনের মুক্তি এবং প্যালেস্টাইনের স্বাধীন রাষ্ট্র ছাড়া আর কোন প্রশ্নে বোধায় রাষ্ট্রসংঘের যে প্রস্তাব রাষ্ট্রসংঘের নিরাপত্তা পরিষদের যে প্রস্তাব এত জঘন্য ভাবে তার লঙ্ঘন হয়েছে এর উদাহরণ বোধ হয় আন্তর্জাতিক রাজনীতিতে খুব কমই রয়েছে সুতরাং প্রশ্ন হচ্ছে যে আজকে দাঁড়িয়ে প্যালেস্টাইনের মুক্তি সংগ্রাম সংহতি জানানো সম্ভব নয় শুধুমাত্র ইসরায়েলি রাষ্ট্রের বিরোধিতা করে একই সঙ্গে যে আন্তর্জাতিক রাজনৈতিক ব্যবস্থা বিশেষ করে মার্কিন যুক্তরাষ্ট্র এবং কিছু কিছু পশ্চিমী দেশ তাদের যে ভূমিকা সেই ভূমিকাকে তার তার চরিত্র উন্মোচন না করে এই আন্দোলনকে এগিয়ে নিয়ে যাওয়া অসম্ভব এবং আরো বিপজ্জনক হচ্ছে যে বিশেষ করে এই যে ইসরায়েলের প্রশ্ন বিশেষ করে প্যালেস্টিনিয়ান মুক্তি সংগ্রামকে তারা সন্ত্রাসবাদী হিসেবে চিহ্নিত করে তাদের যে ভূমিকা সেইটার তারা বৈধতা পাওয়ার চেষ্টা করে এবং সেই চেষ্টার মধ্যে একটা বড় কথা হচ্ছে যে কিভাবে প্যালেস্টাইনের নাগরিক এবং শুধু প্যালেস্টাইনের নাগরিক কেন ইসরায়েলের মধ্যে যারা গণতন্ত্র প্রিয় মানুষ আছে যারা শান্তিকামী মানুষ আছে যারা চায় দু রাষ্ট্রের সমাধান ইভেন দোজ ইসরায়েলিস হু আর প্রোগ্রেসিভ হু আর ডেমোক্র্যাটস হু আর পিস ক্লাবিং who wants to have peaceful coexistence with Palestinians. I, okay, even their democratic right, their human rights. I mean, there are several uh, religious leaders of uh, the Jewish community who have come out openly against this uh, uh, completely uh, asphyxation of, 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 of the people's right and human rights uh, uh, by the Israeli state. I think it is also against that. Therefore, the question is today that we, when we are talking of solidarity, we are not only talking of the solidarity with the Palestinians' uh, 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 rightful demand for freedom. I mean, of course, that is the core, that is the mainstay. But there are uh, other consequential issues that also needs to be articulated because uh, that is needed to uh, build a real uh, uh, global uh, platform uh, for uh, extending uh, solidarity. Uh, the third point I would like to stress is this, uh, uh, this because of this unjust manner in which Zionists uh, uh, have uh, imposed uh, uh, and, and functioning the Israeli state, uh, it is based on uh, a sense of in so called sense of insecurity so called paranoia that we will be taken over uh, by by the palestinians and other uh, arab people now the question is that that is completely misplaced if if there was really a, a approach towards a peaceful settlement of the palestinian question i mean every one of us we have uh, time and again reiterated that uh, two-state solution. I mean, nobody is saying that Israel won't be there. Everybody is talking of a two-state solution with East Jerusalem as the capital of the pre-Palestinian state and, and the settlement of the border question um, before uh, 67 war, uh, that, that boundary. If that is honored, there will be no such fear. I mean, even no ground for such fear. But the fact is that they are playing up that fear in order to uh, uh, extend and in order to further imperialist in interest in the region. Today, there is no just solution possible to the, uh, uh, in the entire uh, regional context of West Asia without settling the Palestinian question. And since they are uh, not prepared to do that, so they are playing on this question of, uh, of a false sense of insecurity 
and uh, they are adapting this methods. Now, we know that we have entered into a, some kind of a new feature in contemporary capitalism, which is being called digital capitalism, and the notion of a surveillance state, and the notion of a national security state. Ideologically speaking, uh, the, the role of the Israeli state has been a major contributor to that process. And we are seeing that how it has become a Frankenstein. We, we, we have uh, just witnessed the uh, new uh, debate and controversy on the Pegasus uh, uh, spyware. Now, now this is a weapon grade uh, cyber warfare tool, uh, which was being abundantly used by many of the governments and which have been uh, uh, imported uh, from Israel. Even in our country, we have seen that how the government has uh, brazenly denied uh, that whether they have uh, purchased that spyware. So, these surveillance uh, uh, equipments and uh, surveil uh, surveillance weapons and the whole notion of national security, uh, which uh, really uh, undermines and completely uh, eliminates the question of uh, individual liberty and personal freedom and democratic rights. So, all those questions cannot be addressed today without extending solidarity with the uh, Palestinian people's struggle for freedom. And uh, in our context, uh, the, the military cooperation, I mean, uh, the, the uh, ambassador has been quite kind to, to recognize the role of uh, the Indian government, it is true, but at the same time, uh, I, um, I, I, I cannot but uh, uh, state very clearly that we had never had uh, this kind of pro-Israeli government ever since our independence. Why independence? Even before the independence, we have been always consistently with the Palestinian uh, liberation movement. Now, the military cooperation with Israel uh, that India is having, uh, Israel, uh, I mean, India, is, uh, Israel is the second largest uh, uh, military uh, hardware exporter uh, to, to uh, India. Therefore, in a way, uh, uh, Indian Indian government's business uh, and, and uh, import of uh, military hardware from Israel is actually financing the occupation state in uh, Palestine. And therefore, uh, we in the solidarity movement uh, here uh, actually uh, taking up this question of uh, uh, ending uh, defense cooperation between the Indian and the Israeli government, because uh, without that, uh, the, the kind of atrocity that uh, uh, Comrade Ambassador was explaining what is happening today, uh, children being jailed, uh, uh, prisoners uh, uh, being there, uh, without any uh, minimum uh, medical services being provided, uh, without even sparing uh, uh, UN uh, 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 sponsored uh, medical and other humanitarian facilities, bombing of Gaza, making Gaza uh, the biggest uh, open air prison in the whole world, one can say. Shutran, AJ Israeli Rashtred Je Bhumika, Shei Bhumika Shudumatro. Uh, Palestine and Mukti Shangrame uh, Birodhita Boiritar Motheshima Bantoni Amon Kotokulo, Dhan Dharona uh, Tara Toiri Koche, Jekulo, Brihot Toro Prichibi, uh, Je Gonotan Trade Jono Andolon, Manavadi Kare Jono Andolon, uh, Shegulor Pratio, Torum, Kutaragat Hishebe, Kat Koche, Kutarang Amade Ekane. Uh, Bapok uh, Bharatiyo Janaganer Angshubrahaner Janno Oi Samastha Prashnaguloke Jukta Kori Amadir uh, uh, Anushke Satchetan Korte Habe Karan Amra Vishash Kori Je uh, Aachke Jato uh, Kruur Hokna Keno uh, uh, Ottachari Dher Bhumika Shesh Porjanto Kintu Aachke uh, Ekobing Shoshatabdite Dariye 
যেখানে দাঁড়িয়ে গণতন্ত্রের কথা হচ্ছে যেখানে মানবাধিকারের কথা হচ্ছে এই এই মানবাধিকার কে অস্বীকার করে কাজ করছে একটা রাষ্ট্র একটা ধর্মীয় রাষ্ট্র চাপিয়ে দিয়ে তারা যে বর্ণ বিদ্বেষী একটা অভিমুখে পরিচালিত করছে প্যালেস্টাইনের আভ্যন্তরীণ পরিস্থিতিকে এটা কখনো জয়ী হতে পারে না এবং এর মধ্যেও আমরা দেখেছি একদিকে যেরকম তারা কোণঠাসা করবার চেষ্টা করেছে কিন্তু একই সঙ্গে আন্তর্জাতিক সংহতি আন্দোলনও কিন্তু নতুন নতুন রাস্তা বার করে এই যে দখলদারি একটা রাষ্ট্র কোয়েশ্চেন অফ ইন্টারনাল কলোনাইজেশন অফ আ পিপল অফ এন এন্টায়ার পিপল অ্যান্ড আন্ডারমাইনিং দ্য ডেমোক্র্যাটিক রাইটস অফ ইসরায়েলস ওন এনলাইটেন সিটিজেনরি হু আর ফর ডেমোক্রেসি who are for peaceful settlement uh, so uh, this cannot go together therefore uh, i believe that uh, international solidarity movement including uh, our own uh, solidarity movement here in india um, on uh, on which uh, we we uh, uh, work uh, as part of the i so uh, i think uh, uh, we we have much greater scope in a way Uh, because uh, increasingly the hypocrisy of, of what is happening uh, in israel and what the uh, us and other uh, western powers are doing i mean who day in and day out uh, talk about uh, uh, human rights violations in a uh, country uh, which, which they don't see eye to eye with but uh, they they are actually practicing something uh, which is quite at odds with those stated ideas therefore i think uh, today the international solidarity day is uh, uh, an occasion to re- rededicate ourselves uh, to to uh, really uh, uh, take up this question of the just solution of palestine <coughs> with the uh, sovereignty of the palestinian people a two state solution and uh, granting uh capital status to uh of, of palestinian state to israelism and settling the boundaries uh, as uh, for the uh, uh, then existing uh, pre 1967 borders uh, that is a key question on which we have to rededicate ourselves i think uh, with our efforts of uh, peace loving people Uh, with with uh, the solidarity movement and the Palestinian people themselves will be able to achieve that day uh, when when uh, we will be able to uh, really uh, reverse and roll back this pernicious uh, uh, direction which Israel has taken in uh, undermining and trampling the rights of the Palestinian people. Thank you very much. thank thank you uh, mr basu so both the lectures i'm sure are very enlightening and helped our audience and the, and, the, and, and the organizers and members of this ipso west bengal state committee also in all the districts also and i thank you all of you and uh, just for the audience uh, mr robin dev was supposed to preside over this session but due to technical reason he could not enter the studio so i request professor torun patro who is also a member of the presidium of aips west bengal state committee uh, to uh, uh, professor mit uh, professor patro please uh, to deliver uh, the vote of thanks thank you uh, the uh, respected president and the uh, both the speakers guest speakers here we are listening to the webinar international webinar on the subject achieving a just solution of the question of palestine the role of the solidarity movement organized by aipso west bengal state unit and for the last 45 or 50 minutes we are listening to it uh, particularly 
the guest speaker the his excellence his excellency uh, adnan abu ajhadia the honorable ambassador of the state of palestine in india and mr nilat pal boshu the presidium member of aipso india uh, both bo uh, the both the lectures with both the lectures we the participants are being reached by the deliberations and it will help us to understand the palestinian problem problem in future uh, therefore the i like to give uh, offer thanks to the guest like uh, guest speaker the his excellency uh, um, uh, mr the ambassador ambassador of the state of palestine in india for his rich speech delivered by him today and i also like to thank him to give it so much of time uh, uh, in spite of his busy schedule he has come here and with us for a long time similarly i also thanks to the to our speaker mr nilotpal basu the presidium member of all india ipso for his speech which have encouraged us very much very much and i also like to offer my thanks to all the members of ipso central committee as well as the west bengal state committee who have participated and listening to this seminar and thus they have helped us and encouraged us to hold this type of seminar in future also with this i shall thanks to the chair and last and with this i remain thank you thank you all of you particularly the participants and the audience you know you are yes, the source sir. of uh, encouragement and inspiration to all of us thank you good thank night thank you very much thank you